Hello Slicers, it's Greg here. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is a bit of an unboxing. Um, this was a Kickstarter that I backed a couple of months ago. Um, it's a board game uh, themed around the pro bending in the first season of Legend of Korra. Uh, I pledged enough to get special edition of the base game as well as um, also getting the Amon expansion. Um, so, got a couple of options. Um, obviously didn't pledge enough to get everything. There's, there was an option to pledge somewhere in the region of $700, $700 or $800 and you got everything. <laughs> Every expansion, special artwork and stuff, whatever. whatever. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack this open. Um, we're going to see what's inside, show off what's inside, and um, then once I find somebody to play with, uh, we're going to do a review of the game and see how we all like it. So, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so let's crack into this. So, just get these shipping ties off. They were just left on so you know that I hadn't already opened it. So there's no cheating going on. Right. Looking good so far. Right, there we go. So, bit of, bit of literature. Half pike yours and sh a, a, a German thing. Can't read German, so. Oh, right, it's on the other side. Spielschmiede. Crowd, board game crowd, maybe. And half pint heroes. Right, so that's the Amon expansion. So that's the, that's the expansion set. Um, uh, underneath, all this extra packaging. Uh, oh, God, this is quite heavy. <laughs> it's heavier than it looks. Um, that's the Legend of Korra Pro Bending Arena. That's special box art. Um, and there's somebody else under there which looks to be shipping label. Yeah, it's just, uh, yep, it is. So this is what we've got. Ah, 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 what the hell? So this is what we've got. Uh, we've got the base game and the Amon expansion. So what I'm going to do is going to crack open the base game so we can see exactly what what have, what have been sent. So, uh, so, so on the front you've got obviously uh, so just have a look at the box up start with, I guess this is quite heavy. Um, so we've got um, just a picture of Cora, Mako and Bolin on the front um, and down in the bottom corner here just uh, for two players IDW games to people who made it um, how long it takes for a game? 30 to 45 minutes. I presume that's maybe a best of three. Uh, and for ages 14 plus. Uh, just get rid of all this dust. Right, so, just have a look on the back. That's the back showing you the board. Um, and what have you? It's got there. The Pro Bending Finals are here, and Republic City is in an uproar. Uh, just trying to read the back. <laughs> So the pro bending finals are here in, Re in Republic City is in an uproar. The future industry's fire ferrets, led by Avatar Korra, have reached the pro bending championship, and only one team stands in their way to victory: the White Falls Wolf Bats. A ferocious team full of tricks and power, the Wolf Bats are eager to, eager to defend their title of reigning champs. Will this savage one? Will they? Oh, I can't speak. Will these savage Wolf Bats claim the title once again, or will the underdog fire ferrets serve an up? A up a surprising bowl of Smackdown soup. Take control of these two fierce teams, build your technique decks, and strategically place your bender to use their attacks in order to battle your way to pro bending victory. So, let's have a look at the sides. Not much else on the sides, so let's just crack this open. Now, I know how it goes with these games. Right, it's perfectly packaged, and then you open it, take everything out, put everything back in and you can't close the box flat again. So I'm just going to take a moment to enjoy the fact that this box is flat currently. So let's just open it up. 
Oh, that smell. Oh. I just that, that 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 smell when I opened it was fantastic. So we've got a rule book, an expansion team's rule book. So I don't. Yeah, this is for characters and uh, teams. Sorry, which I don't have. So this will be ignored, I think, um, because I don't have any of these. Yeah. So we've got. Um, yeah, this is just extra rules and stuff for the Rabaroos, the Porcupines, the Buzzard Wasps. The Tiger Dillos, Pali, Unalok, and Kuvira. Um, so we can ignore that. Uh, then we've got the rule book here. It's not particularly thick. Um, how many pages does it have? Uh, it's 20, 24 pages or so. Let's see, Mon's, inv Mon's invasion at the back. Uh, it's better, better light there when the arm's not in the way, which is what we've got here. So. Um, Telling you how, how, how the game is played or what you should have in the set. Put the arena. Uh, I can say the arena is a bit big. Actually, it's about not too not too bad a size. That's how, that's how that's how big it is. Um, let's put it down on the table. Hold on. Oh. It's all lying flat, but that's because it's new. Um, so I'll just leave that there. You can see how much bigger the board is over the box. Um, well, just while this is laying flat, uh, just have a look at this half. There's both halves are the same, just one's red, one's blue. Um, got three different zones here split into different areas. So we've got um, five, th four, and three. Um, got, well, these, these are handy. These are handy, this is good. So there's sent out zip bag, uh, just extra bags for pieces and stuff, I would imagine. These are just empty, these are spare. I, that, that, that's good, I'm enjoying that, I'm liking that. I'm liking they've sent those out. Uh, or they've included those, because they will be needed. I'm, or, so I'm or, already just looking, not even having to move. There are bits of pop-out cardboard there. Which I'm not 100 sure I'll need because I have these plastic bits. I think these came with the special deluxe edition. Um, it's the um, yeah, because I think uh, let's see. Cause I, th I think these plastic bits are supposed to replace these pop-outs that represent your element or which, which element you, you you're bending, like you're attacking or defending with. Uh, but I've got these plastic bits. Um, which serve the same purpose. Uh, green, green for earth bending, blue for water bending, red for fire bending. Um, and I'm not entirely sure what these are for. Um, it's something they'll have to have a look at the rule book for. But this has got a little, little poster. Uh, this isn't. This is just a poster. Uh, it's advertising pro bending fight. Uh, doors open eight o'clock. Fight begins nine o'clock. Put bending green up here on your bay. Admissions nosebleeds five yuan ringside ten yuan. Okay. It's <laughs> actually call the bleachers nosebleeds. Okay. Alright, oh and there's there's all of them. Ah, right, yeah, those would be the for the um figurines. But yeah, these, these are just bits of pop out cardboard. Lots of bits there. Two sides, all lots of, a lot of bits. Right, so here these. Oh, look, we've got. Oh! Oh! Right! Right, so those are. Okay, so hold on, those are included in this set. Right, okay. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, so those expansion teams are included in this. That doesn't seem right. I only paid for the base set. I didn't pay for all the expansions.
Or maybe, I don't know. Weird. So you got, oh, okay. Because these are the base set boards for your teams. Got fire ferrets and the wolf bats. Um, th th those are just mats for your teams. And then over here, you got, I mean, there's a board for Unalock. And on the back, you got the porcupines. And then these are all the figurines for them. I mean, I was having a look to see which characters are which. You can see the Earthbenders because they've got. So I'm just having a look, just having a nice look at these figurines. These are really good figurines. I mean, that's Pulley. That's definitely Pulley. That's Unalock. Um, I was trying to see, see Kuvira. Wherever she is. Pulley Unalock. That looks like Kuvira. Yeah, that's definitely Kuvira. And these look like... Oh, actually, I'll... Hmm. So I don't want to take these out. These are... I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite liking this. It's like a, little, like a little gallery. It looks like that thing from the Game of Thrones. <laughs> um, promo for a couple of series ago. I mean, I don't watch Game of Thrones, but I've seen the promo where it's like all the faces of the wall. It basically looks like this. I'm just admiring the figurines. I mean, look, we've got all the decks. Like these look like the, you know, like those different teams. Got that, that's Unalock. That's Unalock's deck. The, the, the Rabaroos. Um, Buzzard Wasps. That's Unalocks. Simple. I mean, we've got. And you know, the Wolf Bats there, so I mean, these are all. There's got to be cards for all the expansions and stuff. Oh, right, there's a, there's a lot here. Now, these are tricks, I think, aren't they? If I remember rightly, these are tricks. Oh, and there's. A referees die because so I remember it's like a referee. Um, uh, it's got four. It's got four blank faces around here, and then a fan on that side and a fan on that side. And if I remember rightly, that's to try and determine if somebody is cheating. Right, so that's all of the things in here. There's a lot. There's a lot more than I expected. <laughs> oh, good grief. I, I, I don't really think I have any doubt that this is all going to fit neatly back into the box. Um, but yeah, the, these. The, these, you take... Let's, see, let's, let's take the... Plastic cover off these figurines. So I know exactly what these are for now. So what you do is you select a character. So I'm going to select this Earthbender. I'm not entirely sure who this is or which team this is. But you select your character, like a little figurine there. And this is the Earthbender. So you put put the green ring. You you'd sort of snap them into the green ring. And so yeah, I get he, he's he's your earthbender, green as earth, and then there's a little hole in the bottom where you can like pop the figurine out. Yeah, so you can just pop the figurine out like that. Um, so yeah, okay, right. This is this is oh, um, the, fig, the figurines. The, oh, was, oh man, I mean. So look at this, There's, that's Unalock. If the camera focuses, that's the Unalock figurine. Waterbender. Playing by himself, he's the only one on his team. Um, a couple that you play by themselves for, because they've got special abilities and stuff. But Unalock, I uh, don't remember. Uh, if you have a spirit bending token on your villain, but yeah, that's. Um, do with Pulley. 
This is Pulley from Season 3. We use a combustion bender. And then I believe this is Kuvira. Oh yeah, that's definitely Kuvira. You can see our little Earth Empire armour. Yeah. It's Kuvira from Season 4. Focus! Camera, focus here. Here, there we go. Who are we doing? Uh, it's Kuvira. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put this plastic case back on. There we go. Right, so we'll start putting this back together, then we'll open the Ammon expansion. Yep, straight away <laughs> that's not going to go back flat. I'm going to have to re-watch the, the video in order to get this all back in flat, aren't I? <laughs> Still no. Okay, that's as good as it's getting. Right, let's have a look at the Amon expansion. So, the Amon's Invasion. It's a bit of a smaller box than the other one. I mean, you can see the, you can see the size difference, but that's because we're not getting all of the all of the pop-out tokens. We're not getting all of the figurines. We're not getting the board because uh, this is an expansion set. It's just going to be a few figurines and some new cards. Um, one imagines. Um, so let's look at the back here. Uh, despite equalist threats, Republic City has refused to cancel the Pro Bending Championship. In response, Amon and his squad of Chi blockers invade the arena with plans to destroy it. Can the Fire Ferrets and Wolf Bats work together to capture Amon and his henchmen before their bomb explodes? The Legend of Korra Pro Bending Arena Amon's Invasion includes a fully cooperative mode that has players facing off against an AI controlled Amon and his group of Chi blockers. It also includes two fantasy team variants, Amon and his Chi blockers as a team, and Avatar Korra as a soul bender team. As a solo bender team. Right, okay, I didn't realise that was uh, that's what was given. Amon as well as a solo Korra. So let's right. So we got the rule book with a picture of Amon on it. Right, so we've got the Amon got Amon's board as well as the Avatar. So Korra's board there and uh, the Amon and his Chi Blockers board. Alright, so we do have some tokens. Just some pop-out tokens, as, as I expected. And then here... Oh, look at this. Got, oh. Right, a bit of plastic there. And we have some... There's some black base pieces. Uh, five, to be precise, for all of these. Um, so here we have the figurine of Amon's lieutenant. These electro staffs. And then these just look like cheap, regular cheap blockers. Uh, one cheap blocker figurine. Looks like he's dabbing, but he's not really. Um, got this cheap blocker, cheap blocker with an electro gauntlet, a shot gauntlet. One that's just kicking, and we have a mon. There's a mon himself. And here, ability cards and tricks. Yes, we've got some for just Cora. The Cora solo. And then, yeah, I'd imagine these. There's going to be some equalist ones, but it looks like Avatar stuff on the back. Um, we'll figure out how this is played uh, when we get to it. But for now, that's it. I, I, I really don't have the, the heart to split up the boxes and stuff, so I'm just going to... Like, these are so, so nicely packaged. And 
I, I'm, I'm really pleased with this. This is this, this is really good. Looking, I'm really looking forward to playing this now. I was, I was before, but I, I seeing all the figurines and stuff. Um, I'm looking forward even more to playing it. So hopefully, be able to get something sorted for you. Um, so thank you all for watching, uh, and we'll see you next time, whenever that might be. So. Rough and out.